Welcome to the channel, and today I have some juicy news for you guys. Very, very interesting news. So do take this with a grain of salt, please. And I want to make this a very interactive video. So I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think this could be? So, a Scream 5 or Reboot could be happening. That is the big, big speculation amongst the horror community at the moment. It's very, very possible this could be Scream. Now, grab your snacks. Grab all that. It's going to be a long video. I may even make, make a part 2 to this because I'm so high for it. I'm hoping Scream 2, but it could be... Um, I'm really hoping that it could be Scream 5. I don't know why I said 2, but I'm really hoping it's going to be Scream 5. Or a reboot, either way, I'll be excited. I'm going to get into the video. It says, Happy Death Day director Christopher Landon directed a new horror movie for Blumhouse. Okay, well, what could that be? It says, what, What's next for Christian Landon now that his planned Happy Death Day trilogy would likely stop at just two installments? Well, he's got a brand new horror movie in the works. So, interesting. There's going to be three Happy Death Day films. I want a Happy Death Day 3, though. I do want it. But anyway, Disgusting Films reports this week that Landon is directing a new movie for Blumhouse, and we confirm this to be true. So it is confirmed that he's going to be doing a film. We don't know what it is. So Blumhouse is going to surprise us with something. And I love when Blumhouse surprise. I love when Blumhouse surprises us. Like, I, like, I remember like when they surprised us with Halloween. I remember the day they surprised us with Black Christmas. I remember that day they surprised us with Black Christmas. I, I remember I woke up, went on my Instagram, you know, you know, I was like, Black Christmas? I was so excited to hear that's happening. So, back to, back, back on to, I told you, this could be a long video and off topic and on topic. But, anyway, the, the, the site notes, plot details are vague. Now listen to this. This is what gets people thinking that it's going to be a Scream 5 or a reboot or whatever. The site notes plot details are vague, vague, but sources say that it will focus on a killer who wreaks havoc in a small town. Now, I want that to sink in. The plot details are vague, but the sources say that it will focus on a killer who wreaks havoc in a small town. Now... I know for a fact it's not going to be another, I know for a fact it's not going to be another Dreaded from Sundown reboot or remake. It may be a Collector 3. It may be a Collector 3. Because the Collector 3 was announced a few months ago and we have heard nothing else about it. So, a Collector 3 could happen. But I really do think it's a Scream 5 or reboot. If it's a collector film, I'm happy. If it's a Scream 5, I'm happy. If it's a reboot, I'm happy. If it's just original ideal, I'm happy. But that's why it's got a lot of people thinking that it's um, Scream. And there's some other little things that says... Prior to directing both Happy Death Day and this year's Happy Death Day 2, Lennon directed Paranormal Activity, Marked Ones, and Scott Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Lennon also wrote Paranormal Activity 2, 4, as well as the Marked Ones. So he has big involvement in horror, and he's trying to make his name in horror. What's better to make your name in horror than doing one of the classics? And, you know, and the um, video was not up yet, but I made a video on how I would remake Scream, and I will do a video on how I will do a 5, but if you do a 5, you need to do a 6, because you can't tell everything you need in a 5, so you know if we get a part 5 of Scream, we know that we definitely won't get a part 6 to close everything off, but take this with a grain of salt, like, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, because we already know, um, we already know Christopher Landon will do a horror um, a, a new horror film with Blumhouse. But take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Take what everyone else is saying with a grain of salt. Um, only a few people is talking about this at the moment. Like I said, I, if it's a collector film, I'm happy. But I'd be even more happy. I mean, I really want a collector 3. But also, I really want another Scream movie. A good Scream movie. Um, you know, Scream 4 was good. But you know, the whole resurrection thing. Uh, 
I've heard bad things about that. Um, I just, man, if it's Scream, I'm going to be so excited, like, for real. I, you got to think, probably next week or next month, we're going to get some type of poster. Because I remember that's how they announced Black Christmas first. They put out a poster. If y'all remember when they announced Black Christmas, they just put out a poster and said it's coming. They made like official Instagram and everything like that for it. So I really want I really want to know in the comments below what do you think Christopher Landon could be directing for Blumhouse. I think he's even going to write it. Um, what do you think he'd be doing for Blumhouse? As I said, it will be about a killer who wreaks havoc in a small town. There's only a few horror movies that actually do that and one of the most infamous ones is scream and you know if it is scream i'm gonna be so excited because scream is my top three um horror franchises scream needs more love this franchise needs more love needs more appreciation even if it's a collector film that's why i'll be so excited if it's a a um collector film because that franchise needs more love and more appreciation so i'm really thinking it's a scream like, I'm, I'm not getting my hopes up. Don't get your hopes up either if you're a fan of Scream. But I'm really thinking it's going to be a Scream film. I don't know if it's a reboot, Scream 5. And there's some evidence to this. If y'all don't remember, Mayor Max will be selling a lot of their rights. Number one, think about this. Good. Mayor Max is going to be selling all of their... All of their properties, or majority of the properties. Number one, some evidence. I know what you did last summer will be adapted into a TV series for Amazon. So that property is moving forward. I wish it was moving forward to Blumhouse, but it's moving forward with Amazon. Second evidence is Blumhouse, and this is, off, this is some of the evidence. Blumhouse probably brought probably bought all the rights to the Halloween franchise because they said after Halloween kills they would do more Halloween films so if you did a three picture deal if you only did a three picture deal how can you do more films you know what I'm saying Blumhouse could have bought the rights to Halloween so there's already stuff rolling right there then Blumhouse expressed interest. Blumhouse, was, Blumhouse specifically Jason Blum, um, showed interest into getting the Scream movie. He, Blumhouse, Jason Blum expressed that he wants to do a Scream movie really bad. He never said if he wants to do a Scream 5 or a reboot. He never said that. He just said he wants to do a Scream movie. To think about that, there's evidence that it could be a Scream movie. From all, from other stuff that's been going on with Mayor Max's properties, because I know what you did last summer. It's going to be a TV show for Amazon. Blumhouse basically said that they will do more Halloween films after Halloween Kills, meaning they're going to keep the rights, and they probably bought the rights, or Universal's call, uh, buy the rights, and then they'll share the rights. Because... Universal owns Blumhouse, if y'all don't know that. Um, and then more evidence points to that Jason Blum wants to do a Scream movie. What if Blumhouse bought all the rights to the Halloween films? Um, not Mayor Max, but that one studio. I can't think of the studio. But you, but if, if you know what I'm talking about, you know. But Blum... But... Um, Mayor Max, and there's another studio, which I forgot the name of, owns part of Halloween. What if Blumhouse bought uh, a, the big chunk of the Halloween rights that Mayor Max owns, meaning they would, um, Blumhouse would work with, um, the, with the other studio that owns a little bit of the rights. And what if Blumhouse bought all the screen rights? Think about that, because it said it's going into production. Think about this. I really do think about it. You know, they're filming this new Halloween. They, they film the new Halloween next month. Really think about this. If they start filming the... If 
let's say it's a Scream 5 or remake, they're probably going to start filming in October or late November. Many, we will probably get this, what, April, July, December of next year? With the Halloween film? Hey, it sounds so awesome. Or even if it's a collector film that we may get in March or November, we're going to have that and how we aim the soul. Like, oh my god. Oh, it just blows my mind. From 2017, when we got um, the um, It remake, from 2017 to now and up to next year and the years after next year, it, we're, we're getting so much horror. I just love it. I just love that we're getting so much horror. And, but like I said, I really want to make this a interactive video. And I want to know from you guys specifically, um, specifically, what do you think, you know, I'm just, I'm just excited that it could be a Scream or a collector film. But let me know in the comments below, do you, what do you think Christopher Landon could be doing for Blumhouse? Do you think it should be an original idea? Um, could be, but again, you gotta think about that. Applied details are vague, but as sources say, they will focus on a killer who wreaks havoc in a small town. And I know for a fact that, I don't know for a fact they're not going to do a, um, town, um, a town that dreaded sundown remake. They could, you know, be doing, now, as I said, they, you know, and I was thinking because I just saw it on my shelf over there, they could be doing a Children of the Corn. Remake. They could be doing another short. They, they could be remaking Children of the Corn. I'll be excited for that. But again, we just had a remake of that in 2009, and that was not that long ago. So, would they remake Children of the Corn? I don't know, because I feel like. From. A standpoint, what could they do? Original, original, original idea is probably right here. That's probably right here. A town that dried at sundown is probably right here. Okay. A scream five or a scream five is probably here. Pro probably a scream five is here. Probably probably a remake is right here. Or they could be annoying after. Or or they could be annoying everything after part two, and that could be way higher on the list. Again. I think out of all the things I could think of, it's it's definitely Scream Five or a Scream Remake. Possibly could be a Collector Three. Um, could be Charter of the Corn, but again, it has a a killer. So I don't know. Orange could be a original ideal. I really like. It's got me thinking. Like it really does, because. If y'all don't know, I'm a huge fan of the Scream franchise. I'm a huge fan of the Happy Death Day film. So to have Christopher Landon, and I'm a huge fan of the Paranormal Activity franchise too. I'm, I'm I only prefer Paranormal Activity one, two, three, and the marked ones. But with that being said, I do like Christopher Landon, and oof, for him to direct the Scream film, or even the Collector film, which Oh my god, it would be amazing. But, you know, even if you do a Scream 5 or remake, you know, if you do a remake, you need to do a new story, change up the characters, change Cindy's backstory, give the town a dirty little secret. Because if you remake Scream and you don't give it a new story, a new lore, then you're doing a beat for beat. The original. You gotta have new scenes and you gotta spice up the old scenes. It's called beat 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 for beat the original. If you do a scream five, um you need creative kills. You need creative kills, new kills, maybe even throw some new characters in there. With a scream remake, you also with a scream remake you definitely need a new formula. You definitely need new kills, new characters. Like I said, with a scream five there's a lot riding on that. So I feel like, I'm just, ooh, you know, like, ooh. man, they could be, think, like, they could actually be doing a Scream 5, they could be doing a Scream remake, or I just thought about this, like, doing, like, doing this video, no one's talking about it, but they could be ignoring 
Scream 3 and Scream 4 and doing their own thing because Scream 3 was kind of not... Scream 3 wasn't that well received and Scream 4 was 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 pretty good, I thought. But could Blumhouse kind of be doing the Halloween thing and annoying after everything after Part 3 and kind of Blumhouse making their Scream 4? Could that be possibly... I really want to know in the comments below, what do you think Christopher can be directing for Blumhouse? As it stated, it's going to be about a killer that's wreaking havoc in a small town. You can find this article on Bloody Disgust. It took me a while to, to, to actually find it, um, but, I, but I found that I'm doing the video on it. Um, like I said, it could be Churn of the Corn, but I, but I, just, I just have that feeling, man, it's going to be Scream. I don't know if it's going to be a Scream 5, I don't know if it's going to be a Scream reboot, I don't, or a reimagining, whatever you want to call it, I don't, I don't know if they're going to retcon Scream 2, I don't know if they're going to retcon Scream 3 and 4, I don't know if they're going to retcon Scream 4, I don't know man, but either way, I'm stoked and excited, you know, I'm just excited, I just, ooh, I'm just so excited, like I'm just, like I'm just so excited. Like, it could be Scream, or it could be Collector, or it could be Turn of the Corn, which I've heard no one talk about, that it could be a Turn of the Corn. Yes, Turn of the Corn, there was, like, a group, and they talk about, it, it, in the article, was one killer, but again, they could be doing something different with the Turn of the Corn field, you never know. Um, wow, I just, I'm ready. Like, it's confirmed it's going to be going into production, and it's got me thinking how Blumhouse announced... Black Christmas, and I'm just, I'm just so excited, guys. Like, you don't want me to know, like, how excited I am. Like, I, I'm excited. Like, I'm excited. And see, like, there's evidence that it could actually be a Scream film. As I said, all of Mayor Max's properties are moving forward. This would be a Hellraiser film. This would be a Hellraiser TV show. As I know what you did last summer with... Um, Amazon, um, probably Blumhouse bought all the rights to the Halloween franchise, um, Trankus, that's that studio's name, or at least Blumhouse bought all the rights from Merrimax, Trankus still owns a little bit, but Blumhouse can do whatever they want with the Halloween franchise going forward, um, just as long as they work with Trankus, um, or, you know, and the other evidence, is, as you know, that's some of the evidence right there, um, because, you know, that's part of the evidence that they will do more Halloween films after Halloween ends. If you want to do more films, you got to buy all the rights, right? And I think that's what they probably did. They probably bought all the rights. So all these old Merrimax properties are starting to get rolling. So if all these Merrimax properties are getting rolling, Hellraiser, um... I know what you did last summer. As I said, probably Blumhouse bought all of Mayor Max's rights straight out. Um, because Blumhouse said they want to do more Halloween films after Halloween ends. And Jason Blum expressed how he wants to do a screen film. He hasn't said if he wants to he he hasn't said if you want to do the Halloween formula, which, like, what I mean, the Halloween formula, like, how, tw like, like, Halloween 2018 did, I, he does, he, he didn't say, like, a few months ago, if he wanted to do a remake, or Scream 5, but, let me know in the comments below, what do you think Christopher Landon could be directing, I'm thinking it's Scream, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's Scream, Turn of the Corn, or the collector. They my they were my top three. Let me know in the comments below what do you think Christopher Landon could be directing for Blumhouse. I'm I'm hoping it's Scream, but if it's Turn of the Core, I'm happy. If it's the Collector, I'm 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 happy. But if it's 